In the three steps, I am going to show you how you can create a mega menu using the Astro theme. So right here you can see I am using uh, this default header using the Astro theme and here you can see I have a lot many menu items in this navigation menu. So I am going to show you how you can turn this into a simple mega menu using the Astro theme. So if you are interested then without further ado, let's get started now. So before we actually get started, you need to ensure that you already have Astra Pro installed on your website. So right here you can see if I go to the plugins section of my website you will see that I already have Astra Pro installed on my website. So once you will have Astra Pro installed what you will have to do is to go to this Astra settings here and then click on this dashboard. Once you will click on this dashboard setting here from here you will have to scroll down until you will see this option nav menu. Turn this on and once you will turn this on that was the first first step where you have to turn on this nav menu. In the second step you will have to go to this appearance and the menus and once you will go here in the menus wherever you want to create the mega menu you can simply click on this drop down icon and then you will see this new option that will say Astra menu settings. Click on this Astra menu settings and once you will click here here you will see this option mega menu. Turn this on that's all. You also have some other options available I will go through this in a while. So in the second step you will simply have to turn on this mega menu and then click on save changes and that's all. So now that we already have enabled the mega menu here let's jump to the third step. So in the third step we actually have to divide these things into the columns that we want in the mega menu. So for now what I actually want to do is to insert three columns so I will add three custom links labeled as call1, call2 and call3. Alright once you will create the number of columns that you want in your mega menu what you can do is to rearrange them. So I want to arrange them at the top so I'll move them into the top position by simply expanding these items and then clicking on to the top and this will move these menu items to the very top. Just because my menu that I want for the mega menu is at the very top that is why I moved them at the top. You can move them anywhere you want inside of your navigation menu. So here you can see I have created these three columns call 1, call 2 and call 3. If I click on this save menu here and if I go to the front end of our website you can see that this has already been changed but we need to fix all of these things. So I'll go back to this menu option again and this time if I show you this Astra menu settings again here you will see mega menu width. By default it is set up as content. You can change it to menu container width and if you will save changes and if you will go back and refresh this one again here you can see it is only occupying the width of the navigation menu that we have on the website. You have multiple options available. You can set it up as full width, full width stretch or you can set up a custom width. I think I'm going to keep the menu container width that is looking fine. Now what you will have to do is to simply align your items. So I want to move some of these items in the column 1 and then I will move some of these items in the column 2 and then I will keep some of these items in the column three. All right, just like this. And once done, you can click on save menu. Now, if you will go to the front end of your website and if I hover over, you can see this is how it is looking. Now we need to hide this call one, call two and call three from here. For that, you can go back to the menu and from here, expand this call one and then click on Astra menu settings. From here, you will see this option, hide menu label, just hide this and then click on save changes. You will have to do the same thing for the call two and do the same thing for the call three as well. Now if I save this menu, now if we go to the front end of our website and if I refresh this again, here you can see the call one, call two and call three are gone. Now you can see when I hover over there is again a dark color that we need to fix. So in order to fix that you can go back to the menus and for your parent menu you can expand this and then you can click on Astra menu settings. And once you will click here go to the design and in the design you will have to look for this text or link. So in the normal I want to have this kind of gray color and for the hover I want to have this white color. Once done I will click on this save change. Changes. 
and then I'll click on this save menu. Now again, if I go to the front end of our website and if I refresh this again, you can see the color has been changed. But now I want to change this color furthermore. So I'll go back here and then I'll go to the Astra menu settings again. And then I'll go to this design option. And then for this link for the hover, I want to change the color to this color. And if you want, you can enable the divider as well. That is completely up to you. And you can insert the highlighted labels as well that is up to you however you want to use this menu once done you can click on this save changes again and once you will do that click on this save menu again and if i go to the front end of our website and if i refresh our website again and if i hover over you can see now we have a different color so in this way you can create your mega menu using the astra theme without using elementor page builder i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates by the way if you need any website any kind of website you can reach out to me on my whatsapp or through my email and we can discuss about that website thank you very much i'll see you in the the next video.